Now, so when, when you are doing quadratic equations, please do make it a point to learn about significant figures. Okay. The way I asked you how to, the way I asked you to round off the final answer to two decimal places, they can also ask you to round it off to two significant figures. Okay. They can ask you for three, four, and so on. But you know what I have observed all these years is they will maximize, max to max ask you to round it off to two significant figures, not more than that, or three significant figures, sorry, not two, three significant figures. I'll ask you a question, try to answer this. What if it is 1.0098? Round this off to three significant figures. Yeah, answer it. I wanted to answer this question. Cut it to three significant figures. One point zero one. Okay, what is your answer? Online students answer it. Sia and uh, Gopika has given me the right answer. Anika is wrong. Okay, now listen to this. Stop discussing and listen to me. Children, always remember whenever you start counting significant figures, you start counting from the integral part onwards. Okay? So, children, here the first significant figure is what? One. Start counting from the integral part onwards. That is the basic difference between significant figures and decimal figures. Okay. Now, children, the second one, no, no, let it be. Let it be. The second significant figure is what? Zero. The third significant figure is what? A zero. The next figure should also be considered to check whether it is greater than or equal to five. What is nine children? It is greater than or equal to five. Even though you will not, even though you will not consider it in the final answer, you will verify. Okay. And after verification, if it is greater than or equal to five, you will add one to the left hand side digit so the answer should be 1.01 understood joel maria did you all follow it a uh, 1.01 now children do you all remember the rule of zeros which i had taught you the rule of zeros now in this case only 1.0098 children what did you notice here there are two zeros in this number and these two zeros are lying exactly in middle, exactly in the middle of one and nine, isn't it? See this on the left hand side, you have this one on the right hand side, you have this nine, isn't it? So children, they both are lying in the middle of two integers, one and nine, right? Those zeros will always be considered as significant figures. Those figures will always be considered as what? Significant figures. So that is why I had to consider 1, 0, 0, and then this 9. All right. Suppose I had given you this way, 1.360. And I ask you to write it in four significant figures. What would be your answer? 1.360. Three six zero, isn't it? Why? Because one is considered, three is considered, six is considered, and zero is also considered as a significant figure. Why? According to the second rule of zeros, children, this zero is lying towards the right hand side of this integer six. So when the zeros are lying in the middle or towards the right hand side of the integers one to nine, you can consider it as significant figures. Rule of zeros, I'm telling you. Okay. In that case, what about this number? 0 0.00694. I want you to round it, round this off to two significant figures. What would be your answer? Maria, right answer. Sia, right answer. Jan is wrong answer. 
Money ka wrong answer. Children, rule of zeros. This zero cannot be considered. This zero cannot be considered. This zero cannot be considered as a significant figure. You know what is the reason behind it? All these zeros are lying towards the left hand side of the integer six, isn't it? So, children, rule of zeros. Always remember, if the zero is lying in the middle of two integers, you can consider it. Towards the right hand side of an integer, consider it. But if it is lying towards the left hand side of an integer, don't consider it. Okay. So these three zeros are not considered. So the first significant figure is six. Second significant figure is nine. Always verify the third figure also. It is less than five, isn't it? So children, the final answer should be zero point zero zero six nine. Understood? Two significant figures. Okay. One more question. These are the things which you have to revise at home. Okay. You may forget. You just think you know as a chapter as a whole. Quadratic equations formula. That's all. But if you want to get the final answer, you need to do long division method, isn't it? You need to know what are the technicalities that you have to learn regarding decimal figures and significant figures. Without doing this, you will not get the final answer. Ryan, yeah. just do this. Zero point zero four zero three two. I want you to round this off to three significant figures. One person, Alvin. Zero point zero four zero three. Okay, almost everyone has given the same answer. Good job, Nabil. What is the answer? Zero point zero four zero three. Sure. Is it because Alvin said it? Is it because Alvin said the answer? No. Yeah. <laughs> So I'll think again. Yes, Maria. Perfect. What is the answer? Anubhi, what is the answer? Angel, what is the answer? Very good. Now sit, listen to me, children, carefully. Stop talking. Next time, I'll just throw you out of the class. I'm telling you, whoever it is. <coughs> children, this zero will not be considered. And this zero will also not be considered. Why? Because it is lying towards the left hand side of the first integer four, isn't it? Simple children. Those zeros which are lying towards the left hand side of the first integer, don't consider. The rest, all the zeros can be considered. If it is lying in the middle or towards the right hand side, very easy to remember. Okay. Then this zero will be considered. Why? Because that zero is lying in between four and three, isn't it? So it is totally safe, and you can consider it. The third significant figure is what three. Okay, this is not considered because two is less than five. Okay, so the answer is zero point zero four zero. Learn about significant figures thoroughly at home. They will ask you this: either two decimal figures or three significant figures. Any one of these two is going to come in the paper. Okay, children, I want you to do a few sums which are based on solving word problems. Okay. Feeling bored? I know even I'm feeling bored. But we have to. Learn. We have to learn. <laughs> not cold, bored, bored, not bored. Yes, Anuki, what did you say? <coughs> Nothing. Do the sum. Anika, the zero point zero four zero three. Okay. Start doing. Good.